I look swollen in my hands, even. Yeah, you got swelling everywhere. <sighs> you do. God. Just. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you got swelling everywhere, honey. Oh, this is so bad. You do. I am completely swollen today. Like most days, I'll be honest, I sleep on the couch because um, it like gives me back support. Last night, I was cold and lonely, and I went to bed with Jason and slept next to him. Mm. And the whole time. My RLS won't stop, which if people don't know what RLS is, it's restless leg syndrome. And um, that stuff comes with, if, if, if you have fibromyalgia, so. And osteo gets restless leg syndrome. Um, I, I didn't get a lot of sleep. And my legs wouldn't stop moving last night. And um, surprised Watermelon survived that because the whole time she was like sleeping at my feet. Uh, so today I went to the hospital, got some x-rays done. I don't know what is within the x-rays. I got to wait until I see my doctor on Monday over the x-ray x, x, x -ray stuff, but I already know it's going to be really bad, especially my knees, because they, they, they cause the majority of my pain throughout the day. I know I have hip pain, and that can be, that can be the worst pain you've ever experienced is hip pain, but my knees are the majority of, like, feeling pain. Um, it's hard to walk. It feels like I'm going to collapse when I walk. So thank God they have <laughs> wheelchairs in the hospital because I don't, I, I don't even know how I'm going to make it in the doctor's office. I hope they have a wheelchair. It's a new place. So I don't, not a new doctor, but a new place. He went somewhere else. So I don't. I honestly don't know if they have wheelchairs in the facility. I hope they do. Sure. Um, cause I require one. The thing that's always required is gas money. That's my issue. So I'm hoping that, that people can help out with gas money. That's always an issue. Uh, yeah. You need a car. We do need a car. You have to have one. Here. Yeah, we have to have a car. Just well, do. I need a car. I need, I need. A, you need a, a driver. A transport. Yes. A transporter to one facility to the next. Exactly. Yes. Um. Uh -huh. I still got to get another mammogram. They. We went to the hospital. We asked if I could get my mammogram there. They're like, nah. Um. So. Got to call. Got to call the. Yeah, I got to wait for a bunch of things on. Monday because they couldn't test me for certain things today. They look the the place looked understaffed too. They are. Oh, they are. Um, they are. It's like I came in to the hospital and like no one was in the emergency room, and as soon as I came in, just a bunch of people started yeah, pouring in. Like five people just showed up when you went in. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It was amazing. Yeah, there was no one there when I was there. Was like sure. empty. Yeah. Um, it seems like everyone's getting sick though, but like the hospitals are always empty lately. Yeah. I don't get it. Do they just like diagnose us and then like, w w or they don't, as in my case, they didn't diagnose me with anything or give me any what's going on. They just took my papers and yeah, took my x-rays and said, all right. You can wait till your doctor's appointment. See you on Monday. Oh, okay. 
thanks. I did hear the person who took my x-ray, the radiologist, mm -hmm. um, he did say my knee looked like it was smashed. It does. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't even, like, my knee can't even straighten. It's, like, crooked on the side. Yeah. Like, it's... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's not in the correct. You know how your kneecap's in the middle of your knee? Yeah. Well, um, in my leg, it's on the side of my knee. Like, I wish, let me see. I don't know if you could show it effectively. Maybe I can? I don't know. All right, so this is my knee. You see how the kneecap should be here? The kneecap is actually like on the side. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah, you can see like the kneecap is here and that's where it should be. Pretty much. Yeah. Real messed up. It's really messed up. Yeah. And very painful, and as you can see, very swollen. swollen. Just, just all around it, just swollen. Yep. Um. True. So, sorry for my mess. Uh, that is my dilemma. I have another dilemma because I went to a food bank a while ago, and I got these. They're, they're these coffee pods, and I have no Keurig to use said coffee pods. So is there, yeah. like, some kind of ingenious way how I can make coffee from this? Like, I was thinking, like, how the coffee machine works is it pokes a hole on this side and the bottom, and it pours hot water in it, but yet presses the the coffee beans you know so i'm wondering can you do this without a keurig <laughs> so you could leave a comment on that yeah um making keurig coffee without a keurig oh <laughs> yeah exactly so I'm just wondering how the heck I could do that. And, and I, I love your prayers. I very much appreciate them. Mm -hmm. um, Monday, I'm going to ask the doctor if I could get some, you know, steroids injected in me because I heard that helps a lot with the pain. And I'm at the point where it comes to my knee and hip pain that I, high sparkle, I just, I, I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. The pain just need a strainer and hot water. Yeah, pretty much. That's true. Yeah. I was just thinking of that. Maybe like some cheesecloth. Yeah. need to figure that out anyway i'd love a coffee like maker 10 bucks 10 bucks at walmart <laughs> seriously 10 bucks at walmart yeah <laughs> you got a coffee maker i know it's pretty cheap well is it a keurig that will be a potter honey you can open the pods and just pour the coffee and it's a paper filter normal thing you got coffee that's you just open the pod oh uh, yeah there's that powdered coffee in those there you go. That's, yeah. It sucks being poor. Po. po yeah, Poe. Po. Yeah, not not poor. Poe. I can't afford the O and R. Yeah. But how are you in the waiting room? Oh, fine. Yeah, I was just watching the huge, massive TV. It was like 80 inch TV. I was watching, um, 
I don't know why he gave me that spot. Because you're pretty? No. I was war I was just watching the Weather Channel. I look like ass. <laughs> yeah, cheesecloth would be fine. No, uh, uh, we need a coffee maker. I'm sorry if you're real bad today. Sorry. Both of us feel bad. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you can have it on the table like that. I don't know why I'm holding it. Like yeah, that. There, you got a point there. You like. I don't understand you, why I'm you, holding you, it. You like holding. Yeah, you don't like holding it. No, I like it being there. There you go. Is that better? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a lot better. We have like half faces. Half and half. <laughs> that's cool. It works. That's fine. Oh. Uh, it ain't landscape orientation on Instagram. No. They don't like landscape. They like uh, portrait. They should do a landscape. It'd be better to present like two people. Yeah. Because I got to lean in and you got to lean in to show your full face. That's fine. I mean, that works too. You doing much better? Uh, not really. I'm in a lot of pain. Yeah, that doesn't stop. No. Her pain never stops. No. It's when it goes dark like that. It is weird. It's, it's like really my face. It's like it's f like when my face isn't there, it goes dark. Yeah, it, wait. Does it do that autofocus deal? I don't know. I don't think it does. I don't think it does either. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know either. It's just like, it, like, maybe I'm just a natural light, and it's like I just bring a natural light to my face. Maybe. I don't. Maybe. <laughs> oh, boy. I took a shower today, yes, but this is wind in my hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like poo. But we found something out today. Mm hmm. About a bunch of people. So apparently, Russell Brand, Joe Rogan, and Jim Carrey have found Christ. And they're all believers. They're all believers right now. I don't know Hulk. if Joe Rogan has... He said we need Jesus, but I yeah. don't know if that was a statement of faith. But he's getting there. He's getting there. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. He's reading the Bible. He's seeing that the prophecies have come true and are coming true. Yeah. He's realizing the nature of Jesus and how we forgive through our suffering. Um, like, it's awesome. You know, if you ever get mad at someone, just remember Jesus on the cross and know that he forgave the people that did that to him and put him on that cross. Mm -hmm. He forgave them and not only forgave them, but loved them. He loved the people that put him on that cross. Great for him. Yeah. While that's am that's amazing. <laughs> While they're doing this horrific act, he was loving them and forgiving them. And that, that's just... Wow. Forgive them.